What's the deal, everybody? Welcome back to the studio. Jeremy Deal here. And today I am giving you that video I promised you last week because a lot of you had questions. Color contamination removal for real estate videos and DaVinci Resolve. Now, I'll throw up a video while I'm talking about this so you can see exactly what we're talking about. But I'm going to show you how to go past the primary corrections, past that basic log correction and start going into a more advanced technique on how to remove color contaminations. In particular, in this episode, we'll be looking at the bluish greens that come from exterior lightings that can be extreme, especially when dealing with tinted windows. And we'll be looking at the greenish yellow tints that can happen from rooms that don't have any windows or rooms that have fluorescent lighting somewhere inside of them. Now, I'd also like to mention that I am going to be starting finally a membership where if you join, you'll get more behind the scenes kind of stuff that I do every day, a little bit more of a raw, unfiltered, unprocessed look at the real estate world through my eyes and not necessarily the clean, pretty, perfect image I always put forth right here. So if you're interested in that, join down below. And if not, in order to get into this, we're going to have to jump onto the computer. So let's do that right now. All right, so here we are, we're already in DaVinci, we're in the color tab, and we're going over the exact same clips that I used on my Dehancer video. So if you haven't seen that, you can go check it out, but I'm gonna show you how I got those super clean colors because this isn't something I found anywhere else. This is something I built. I'm not a colorist, I'm not a perfect, well, I guess I'm a professional, I use this professionally, but I didn't get this technique from anywhere else. This is built specifically for my needs and for real estate videos in particular. So let's jump right in and get to it. First thing I'm gonna show you is right here. This is my full color node build out. Now, if you don't know anything about building out color node trees, please go see my older video where I talk about it right here so I don't have to break it down for this video. I will show you how to start this from scratch, but you can see this is everything that I do to every real estate clip. And I'm gonna show you the cast in particular, how we do them. So as you can see right here, this is what it looks like before I do any of my color corrections. So check out right here, you can see a lot of the blue and that one removes the blue. The purple, there's only a little bit of in this scene and the green and yellow, there's only a little bit of in this scene. So you can't really tell as much, but we'll go back to this clip and I'll show you exactly how I do it from the beginning right here. Now I have all of these serial nodes created I've already got them labeled. Once again, go check my old videos if you need instructions on how to do that. But we're gonna start with the blue cast since it's the one that's the most prominent in this room. And it takes the most amount of adjusting to remove because it's not just blue. It's kind of a mix of blue and green coming from the outside light. And that's really what we're trying to take care of. These colors right here. See how blue this shift is right here? So I'm gonna show you how to do this using the color warper tool. I've got color warper pulled up down here. Usually you will see this tab open up down here, custom curves. If you go right here, this is the color warper option. And this is what we're gonna be messing with right now. Now, come over here, make sure you've got your eyedropper selected and you can select the color tones you're trying to remove. So this blue green right there, we're gonna select it. See how wherever you move your dial up to the left, look down in the color warper tool, you can see those colors being selected by the eyedropper. So that's what I selected right there. And we're gonna grab this and just pull it this way to get rid of those colors. Now look how much that made a difference in that small little adjustment. Just the blue cast right there. This room, the blue cast is the most important. Let's just leave the purple off of this one because the blue really did the most. That's what I really wanted to remove from this right here. And that's the difference between just doing a basic log correction, which would be, this is the raw footage straight out of the camera. This is a basic log correction, which gets rid or matches the color tones appropriately, but once again, doesn't remove any of the contamination. And this is removing that blue contamination so let's go on to the next clip right here. I will cut all of these guys off so you can't see them. And I'll go ahead and reset these so that way we're starting. These don't matter as much. Oh, the green cast I can see in this one also. The purple blue probably will only matter a little bit here as well. Those are for very unique situations. Blue cast is number one because it always comes from that window light. Just like before, we're gonna grab that layer, make sure color warper selected, make sure you've got your eyedropper. 
and right over there. See that blue color? We're going to highlight that and it selected it red for us. And we're just going to bring it on down just like that. And look at the color before, after. Makes, cleans up that carpet real nice right there. Now we're gonna go over to the green and yellow cast because I can see it right up here. Cause this is actually supposed to be white. It's a white macrame. So we'll click on that. Once again, look, it's selected one over here and we'll just drag that down a little bit. And now we've gotten rid of that greenish yellow cast. Look all around the walls right here when I cut it on and off. And that's the difference once again between going the extra mile and taking an extra few seconds using this color warper tool in particular. This works the best in my opinion because it makes it super easy. On to the last clip. And this is where you can really see the green yellow shine. Before, after, before, after. Look at that. It makes it look less dingy in this case in particular. So we'll turn all of these off. You'll notice the purple blue doesn't really do much. The blue cast doesn't do much in this one because there's no outside light. There's no window. So you don't have to worry about that one. Just the green yellow cast is the only one we're worried about here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll reset this node grade just like before. Make sure we're on the color warper just like before. Make sure we're on the eyedropper just like before. And we're going to come on in here and we're going to find this. See how this is. It's this color right here. It turns this yellow green. There's fluorescent bulbs up here. It's just nasty. So I've selected it. There it is in red highlighted again. Grab it and we'll just drag down. Now you can go extreme with this. You can change colors like this also, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're basically just desaturating these colors a little bit. Now, before, after. I know it doesn't make a huge difference. Look here in the sink. Before, after, before, after. Look over here, right down here in this tub area. Before, look at all this right here, the shadows. After, removes that dingy green kind of look from everything. And then the final thing is obviously the dehancer and that's what's giving it that really unique filmic kind of look. If you haven't seen my thing on Dehancer, go check it out. It is a hero in my workflow. I have a code down below because you've already missed the competition where I gave away two for free, but there is a discount code down below. Real deal, use it, get yourself a discount. Use Dehancer, I use it for everything. It's amazing. And that's it. Color correction for real estate. I hope this was rock and roll for you. As always, keep enjoying what you're doing, make smart business decisions, and start taking the extra steps and color correct that footage this way, and your clients will definitely notice. I'll catch you next time.